So in this video, we're going to take a quick tour of the binomial distribution one more time. We're going to talk about some calculator skills with the binome CDF and the binome PDF function. We're going to work from the following scenario and just ask a bunch of questions. And this hopefully will kind of give you a good feeling for your calculator skills that you'll need. I'm going to work with 10 trials and a probability of success of 0 0.3. What's the probability of exactly one success? Well, as soon as we hear the word exactly, we know we are working with a binomial PDF. And for all these, the nice thing, no matter what we're going to do in any of these examples, we're always going to have a 10 and a 0 0.3. And the last parameter just involves the number of successes we're trying to focus in on. In this case, we want exactly one success. So I can work with binomial PDF, 10, 0 0.3, 1. And if I do that, I'll come up with an answer of, see here on my calculator, 0 0.121. What's the probability of no successes? Well, there's a couple ways we could do this. We could do number one. Well, probability of failure is 0 0.7. So I could do, as some people said in class, 0 0.7 to the 10th. But let's just stay with calculator skills. I'm going to have a binome PDF 10, 0 0.3. Zero. And I'll go ahead and run that. I've got to update my calculator. Here's my command. And the answer comes back as uh, 0 0.28%. Excuse me, 0 0.028. My fault. So 0 0.028. Now, what's the probability of no more than one success? Well, what can I work with? Zero is okay, and one is okay. And so let's talk our way through this. This is a binome. CDF. We call a binome CDF will take all the numbers from zero up to whatever you specify as the last parameter, how many successes you want. And what binome CDF does, starting at zero, it adds up all the individuals. It's cumulative. It adds up all the individual probabilities to get a cumulative function. So for instance, binome CDF 10, 0 0.3. 6 is going to do what? It's a cumulative probability all the way from 0 up to and through, including 6. So all these individual PDFs, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, add them all together, that's what the binome CDF would be. So in any case, if we pull back, well, a couple things. We can have binome CDF in this case. What we want, 0 or 1 success is 10, 0 0.3, 1. And if we run that, Gonna just, I had a couple of these stored in my calculator already. You see binome CDF 10, 0 0.3, 1. I get an answer of 0 0.149. Which hopefully is not too surprising because if you add this number and that number, 0 0.121, 0 0.028, you will get exactly 0 0.149. Not too much of a surprise that what? The binome CDF with 1 as my last parameter, is nothing more than the individual probability of 0, PDF for 0, plus PDF for 1. What is the probability of more than one success? Well, again, I could use all this. What's more than 1? Anything over there. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 would work in this example. I could do all those PDFs. That would be kind of painful. I could also do what? 1 Minus the probability of 0, minus the probability of 1. That certainly will do it. More calculations. What I could really do is what? Nothing more than 1 minus binome CDF 10, 0 0.3, 1. And that's going to be what? Well, if I work my way through, that's going to be 0 0.851. By the way, if you think about it, 3 and 4 are complements of each other. What's the probability of... What do I see here? At most, a little bit different than no more, but at most, kind of the same thing. No more than one, at most five. What values would be good in this case? Zero, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to just do a little check mark above. Those are all the values that I could work with. Add up all those individual probabilities, and I get the cumulative probability from zero all the way up through five. Cumulative probability for five. The answer to this is one minus, excuse me, it's just binome. CDF, 10, 0 0.3, and 5. Let me run that through the calculator. Whoops. There's my binome CDF. I already had the 10 
and the 0.3, I'll change this to a 5. And I come up with 0 0.95, let's do 0 0.953, three significant digits. What's the probability of more than four successes, but less than seven successes? All right, well, let's look again. This is a little bit more challenging. I'm going to work down here. What do I want? I want more than four, but less than seven. Well, those are the two things that would fit the bill here. So I got a couple ways I could do it. I could do a straight binome PDF with five and binome PDF of six. Let's just do it that way this time. That's kind of straightforward. So binome PDF 10, 0 0.3 and five plus binome PDF 10, 0 0.3 and six. So I'll work through those two numbers real quick. Here we go. So there's a binome PDF 10.3 and let's do five. 0 0.103. Binome PDF, let's do 10, three and six. Point zero three seven. Add these two numbers up and I'll wind up with so 0.103, oops, excuse me, plus 0.037, I'll wind up with, hey, exactly 14%, 0 0.14. Last one to do. What's the probability of four, five, six, or seven? That's a lot of individual things to work up. So let's take a look at this visually one more time and I will go back to a black pen. Okay, so what do I want? I want four, five, six, or seven. I'm gonna circle this time. Now I could do all those individual PDFs, but here's another way that I could do it. Watch what happens. I'm gonna draw a line like this. Going from zero to seven. That would be a binome PDF 10, excuse me, CDF, please excuse me, binome CDF. Let me write the biggest C I can try to do. That looks a little bit better. CDF 10, 0 0.37. Now, what also could I do? Look at this. That looks like what? Binome CDF. 10, 0 0.3, and 3. It only takes up to 3. And so look, if I took this commutative probability, which has all the pieces, took away what? This commutative, commutative probability, I'd be left with just the 4, 5, 6, 7. What could I do? I can do just what I see here. Binome CDF 10, 0 0.37, minus binome CDF 10, 0 0.33. Let me write it out back here on this piece. Binome CDF 10, 0 0.37, minus binome CDF 10, 0 0.3, and three. Again, visually take a look at what we did. Binome CDF all the way through seven covers all these values, zero through seven. Strip away what we don't want. We don't want zero, one, two, three. Well, that could be represented as what? Binome CDF 10.3 and three. So let's go over to the calculator and run both of those pieces through. So here we go. I'll do this one from scratch. Second, distribution. Binome CDF, whoops, CDF, 10, comma, 0.3, comma, 7, minus, second, distribution, repeat my binome CDF, 10, comma, 0.3, comma, 3, just like we wrote it. And I'll come up with an answer of, 0 
9 when I go ahead and round to three significant figures. So this is the key on using the binome PDF and binome CDF structure. I hope this helps you out. Be comfortable with working with your calculator. Don't be afraid to put out a little bit of a number line like this and highlight what you want. It's fine. It's a good technique to use. It ensures your accuracy. Don't be afraid to do it. Let it help you. Thanks.